Welcome aboard Flight Simmers. My name is Roro and joining me today is literally my first officer, FS Madness, who has kindly joined me in my flight tonight. Before we show you how we turned our sims into a shared cockpit experience, we would like to talk to you about our brand new Discord. Information Alpha has now launched a new and up-to-date Discord server where all flight simmers can join and share their flight experiences. Inside our server you can plan flights together, talk amongst the community about your buttery smooth landings and most importantly keep up to date with all the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news. On here you would most likely be the first ones to find out any new information before we accumulate it into a video. So if any of this appeals to you, join our Discord today, the links will be in the description and also on the main page of our YouTube channel. So, if you have not heard yet, there is a development team called Your Controls that allows you to connect your sim with a friend online, bringing you both in the same synchronised aircraft. Although this mod has been around since August 2020, Your Controls has been working very closely with Fly-By-Wire in the most recent months to ensure that you have a smooth and realistic experience between both players. I can confirm that Your Controls and Fly-By-Wire did smash this implementation out of the park because they both work absolutely perfect with each other however there are some minor bugs which we will go into but other than that it really does improve your flight simulation experience when you're playing with a friend online so how do you actually install your controls well it's actually very simple all you have to do is go over to the github page which i have linked in the description make sure you are on the readme section all you have to do is click on the installer.zip file once you download that file, you have to run it. However, at the moment with Windows Defender, you may have to turn it off as it does cause some issues. So when you launch the .exe file after unzipping the file, just make sure that you confirm the location of your sim. And as simple as that, we can now share your sim with anyone. But before we go any further, I do want to give a quick disclaimer. Do not share your connection code with strangers online as they are connecting to your computer by an IPv4 connection, meaning that they can basically access your internet directly. So just be careful who you do trust uh, with your connection code. However, I'm sure if you're sharing it with your friends and you're using it for the intended use, which is for flight sim, then you have no issues. Now, before I scare you away knowing that dangerous information, you need to enter your username and also select your aircraft with mine being the Fly-By-Wire A32NX or the A320neo which is very compatible with this software as both dev teams have been working very closely with each other. Then all you have to do is just press start to create the host. Simple as that, you have now created your own host or your server uh, and then you can give your code to your trustworthy friend, so mine being FS Madness. But before we do rush into the sim, we need to make sure that we are following the certain parameters which your controls has stated to achieve the best synchronization between both players. Number one is basically ensure that everybody has the same navigation data, scenery and weather installed. Uh, I think the main one here would be scenery because if you have two players with two different sceneries and they load into the same gate, the gates may be slightly off for each other, meaning that your synchronization may actually be about a meter out. You need to then launch Microsoft Flight Sim and select the same exact aircraft and spawn in the same exact location and do not enable multiplayer unless if you are on different servers. I personally just turn off multiplayer completely as it takes away all the hassle. And then once everyone has spawned in you can then launch the software but do not run it as an administrator. And then once you have launched your game and you are in the aircraft do not touch any of the avionics because if you switch on a certain switch and then synchronize to your other player their other switch will actually be off meaning that they are inverted so you need to make sure that everything is completely off for the best synchronization finally we have now reached the point where you can actually give your friend your code or you can actually type in their code and connect and synchronize both of your aircraft so here is a clip of myself and FS Madness just testing out the aircraft, making sure that the synchronization did work by switching on just certain switches and clearly stating what exactly we are doing at that point. There we go, oh, I'm connected. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna turn the APU on, you ready? This works absolutely amazingly, what the f So, as you can very clearly see, myself and FS Madness was actually very excited because, well, we haven't actually experienced a fully functional shared cockpit experience without having loads of bugs and issues before. So, 
for this to work as a freeware software absolutely blew our minds. Now that we have successfully connected our sims together and they are completely synchronised with each other, we decided to mess around and taxi around and also do a quick takeoff. However, where there is good, there is also bad. Although the connection was absolutely phenomenal, with little to low latency issues or lag, however there are some bugs which still need to be fixed. The first issue that we found was a very funny one actually, it was when you are transferring controls between players on the software, when you are connected to a tug and unfortunately it looks like you are Snoop Dogg 747 with hydraulics on steroids bouncing you up and down. Now as much as I would love to see that site, I also believe this could cause other issues when it comes to synchronisation. As the aircraft is moving quite sporadically, it may actually desynchronise yourself from your other player. However, after this case, it didn't actually do that, so thankfully we didn't have any issues like that today. Even though there are still a few apparent bugs which do need to fix, myself and FS Madness were still blown away by the level of quality and the stability of this mod. Bear in mind it is still in a development stage, we cannot fault it at all, especially with it being a free mod. So after using it for a little while, here are some clips of myself and FS Madness using it in the way it's intended to be used. And Flex SRS Auto Forte Blue Airspeed Alive. Eighty knots. Cross Bit of a crosswind. V1, rotate. Gear up. Gears coming up. Oh, floating a bit. Nice. Versus screen? Uh, reverse screen. D cell. D cell. Manual braking. And reverse is stowed. APU on. APU coming on. Okay. Flaps zero. Ground spoilers are. Uh, we have a temperature on the temperature check on the brakes, please. And that is it. That is the Your Controls mod. To be honest, it is actually probably one of the best mods I have actually tried on this game so far. Even though it isn't too popular, I still believe it is probably one of the best. The actual quality, the quality of it is just unbelievable compared to previous shared cockpit mods. So if I was to rate this mod out of 10, I'd probably give it about a 9. I know that is very high and I don't give mods and add-ons quite high scores quite often purely because, well, I I'm just entirely blown away by how amazing and stable this mod really is. Other than that guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. We have been Information Alpha. See you in the next video. See you later, bye.